Hey guys, I'm Dave Batista. I'm here with BuzzFeed and today we're playing with puppies! Puppies! Now it's time to address the elephant in the room. David Batista. Well, not the fact that he's an elephant in a room. Just like there's an elephant. There's something really serious I changed about him. And so I fucked the intro. Let's talk about the elephant in the room about Batista. The thing that has changed that everyone's been talking about in the past couple of days. His style. Have you seen his style? He looks more like a Gen Z than a Gen Z looks Gen Z. He makes me, you, and the other person who's watching this video look like shit, even though we dress well. I don't know if it's because he's been on the internet scrolling on TikTok and Instagram reels 24-7. That's how he knows how Gen Z dresses, what's the trend right now. Or he has a really good fashionist who, you know, keeps him updated with the whole trends. But bro looks amazing. If you're ever walking in public with your grandma and you see David Batista, GG, she is no longer your grandma you're going to see things you wish you were not alive to see but another major thing i wanted to talk about which is a bigger elephant in the room is because of this one picture i'm sure in the past couple of days you've come across this one picture at batista and the first thing that came into your mind was this is what happens when you get off steroids i knew he was juiced up the whole time well no shit but it's not entirely because of that first of all if you look at a picture the suit makes him look skinny but he's still 240 pounds and not skinny and fat still 240 pounds of pure muscle so if you put me and you together both our muscles and all our fats and bellies he is still bigger than us but what really happened to him everyone knows him as this huge wrestling guy if he was my prime time like i was like 10 years old in 2008 watching batista in wwe it's all about the game and wait no that's triple h monday night raw's wrestlemania's 2008 wwe on playstation 3 these were the prime times in my life having friends over at night batista bombing each other it was a truly a uh, beautiful time and everyone knows this guy has a little big you know strong the guy that will slap you and you will see donkeys and batista bomb you out of this world and once everyone saw that picture everyone just started talking and just talking out of their ass and just saying the cause of it but i decided to get more into it and this is what he said in one of the interviews on why he dropped from like 315 pounds in his previous movies it was around the 315 pound mark but in his latest movie that literally dropped yesterday called the killer's game he changed a lot and this is what he had to say in uh, one of his interviews you're looking lean and mean i'm getting super trim this is probably the lightest i've been since i was 19 years old what wow. was the biggest you were at at like Deacon Batista, Leviathan? What was the absolute biggest? The heaviest I've ever been was 370 pounds. When I Whoa. started Deacon, I was about 325 pounds. Man. And throughout most of my wrestling career, I was about 290 pounds. What do you know? Now I'm about 240 pounds. Wow, well and, done. And I went just a year and a half ago for a knock at the cabin. I went up to 315 pounds. What do you want to get? And that's when the nightmare started. Like <laughs> getting that weight off was has oh. been a challenge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you guys eat a lot of fun food, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. But then now I'm pretty, I'm really particular about my diet. Following up with that interview, he also commented saying, I started trimming down for a particular reason. One, I started trimming down because I just got fat. I got really big for a role and it was uncomfortably big. I was around 315 pounds and I put the weight on really fast. He continued saying, looking back at it, I probably overdid it. I was probably a little too big at the time. But I was just thinking, I gotta get big. And I put on an uncomfortable amount of weight and it took me forever to shit it off. Shit it off, not shit it off. I noticed the more I trimmed down, the better I felt. And I also noticed the more I trimmed down, the better I look on camera. And better I look next to the other actors. So there's two key points over here why he shit it out around like 60-ish pounds. Is first of all, he just felt good. He just felt like it's really big. And life as a big guy... It is not easy. As a guy who identifies as a 250 pounds of pure muscle, I can tell you it's not easy. Like I can barely reach my back and scratch it. That's And that's just one thing. There's a lot of health issues that come with it. Don't think that, oh, because he's, it's pure muscle, it's all healthy. It's not healthy. What is healthy? Someone who is lean, basically. Around 220, 240 pounds, which if you're six foot is an average weight for that. So he started to feel good the more he trimmed out, scratching his back became much easier. And the second part was the fact that he's not going to look so big. He's going to look like the, you know, the 
actors as well and once they're walking down a premiere of a movie he won't look like their security guard he will look like an actual super so you've been slimming down absolutely at 6'4 240 pounds next to your typical actor it looked like a gorilla and batista you are a superstar you will forever be in our memories I'm talking in a way like he died but this is a big choice we don't see him that way at all he's always going to be a superstar in our eyes but if he thinks he's going to be healthier and he feels good he also said in his interview that he cut off meat and he's only going plant-based at 55 years old which is absolutely amazing as long as he's healthy as long as he's going to produce more more movies no more wb i think you're gonna crack a bone fucking dust is gonna come off the second you get uh you even 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 if you batista bomb someone your bones are going to crack so maybe stick to acting i think it's absolutely amazing but he also went on jimmy camel and this is what he had to say how thin how like how much weight have you lost since your peak since my, well, a couple years ago, I put on a lot of weight for a film called Knock of the Cabin. Okay. And I went up to 315. 315? Yeah, and I'm about 240 now. 240 and, now? Hold on, let me get some paper and right. I'll figure this out. <laughs> and I've been trying to shed that weight since, and I've just now kind of gotten to the point where I'm like, I feel good, man. Do you? Yeah? Yeah, I feel good. You've been, and also you've been like... You look good. Yeah, thank you. It's funny because I saw a picture of you. I'm like, oh my God, he lost like a whole person. Yeah, yeah. And I'm still 240 pounds. People like, talk about me like I'm anorexic. Yeah, I'm like, you don't, oh, right. I'm 6'4, 240. <laughs> I truly have a lot of respect for Batista because his life has been a roller coaster. He started to. Uh, in DC, he used to be a bodyguard for actors and celebrities for like 13 years, and he got into a whole wrestling game around 10 years and in 2019 that was a time that he actually called it and got into this whole acting thing and i'm very happy that he he's happy he's healthy still 240 pounds if you see his latest movie he's still fucking huge he can still beat me and you and the other person again who's watching this video all together and he didn't let go of his body he's still working out he's still on a diet he's very very clean diet he's still very lean and full of muscles and low body fat but he's not as huge anymore, and I think it's a good thing. Because the people who get too big, first, is a health issue. Second, it's a very uncomfortable life. Like, tell Hulk or Sam Sulek to scratch his back and see if they can or not. Yes, you will look good in front of the mirror, but you'll be disturbing the peace in public with your protein farts like 100x more times than you are right now. But anyways, I just wanted to update you and let you know about what happened to Batista. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, subscribe. Take it easy. Stay healthy. And do not worry. Batista's not going anywhere anytime soon. Just hide your grandmas if you come across him. But yeah, take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.